there are about 7,000 diseases that affect the human family. About 500 have a medicine available for them. If you are one of those unfortunate people who happens to get one of those 6,500 diseases, doctors can do nothing for you. Our robotic system allows us to test hundreds of thousands of potential drugs it's taking biological technologies, it's taking engineering technologies. These robot arms, for instance, came out of car manufacturing factories and doing a lot of ongoing innovation with how those interact. At one end, you'll see a dispenser of cells or proteins, and in the case of NPC, these were the patient cells, and what we're doing in that case is putting the disease gene or the disease protein or the cells into these plates and then the plates go to the other end and have chemicals added to them. It's about 450,000 different chemicals, uh, which are potential drugs, added to them. And then they move back up to the other end of the robot and get put in, in, in readers, uh, which are essentially very sensitive cameras, to find out whether those chemicals fixed the problem that was present in the cell or the protein. We do about 50 of these screens a year. Uh, if you take 450,000 molecules or compounds, which we're screening, so you multiply 450,000 times seven, which is the typical different level of doses that we test, that's about three million tests. We do three million tests on that robot every week on a different disease. If you or I was to do this by hand, it would take us eight hours a day, seven days a week for 12 years to do what this robot does in a week. If we are lucky enough to find a drug that is currently approved by the US FDA, we can go very quickly with very little additional steps uh, into human clinical trials. Uh, we have an ongoing study uh, in a form of leukemia. So we took cells directly from the hospital, drove them up here, put them on the robot, tested every drug which has ever been approved for human use, and found one that killed the cancer cells, but not the normal cells. That drug then, in less than a year, went into people. And we've seen this happen over and over and over again. Actually, this robot has never done the same thing twice. Every time it does an experiment, it is learning from the experiments it did before. In a process that fails currently 99.9% .9 of the time, we have to have a system which is continuously learning. That is what this lab is doing. <laughs>